Hello YouTube, in this video I will show you five applications that you should have on your computer to maintain or clean up your Windows installation. The first tool in the list is called Ninite. This one is an automated install package. Um, you can use this to update any software you have on your computer without going through the standard procedure. And by that I mean you don't have to go into, for example, Google website and download Chrome or just go Firefox and download the setup. This tool uh, does everything automatically. If you select uh, the programs you need, for example, and then click on here and get, an, get your Ninite, we'll just download a simple installer, as you can see here. If you run that it's installer, it will automatically download the packages necessary to run this program selected here and uh, we'll install them in the background without any confirmation or whatsoever. So this is very handful and useful if you're setting up a new Windows installation. Like you just have a fresh operating system, you set up all the drivers and updates and then go into Ninite and select all the programs you want installed in your system. Get your Ninite, run the exe and then just wait. As you can see, here is a small preview window, what it looks like, and after it finishes, you have everything set up. Also, you can use this application to update your currently installed programs in your computer. Like, for example, if you have um, Chrome, Skype, iTunes, and then run the Ninite, it will just update them. To the latest versions. So this is a very useful tool to save up some time and to install this applications without uh, any other software that comes bundled in like uh, a toolbar or uh, something that might slow down your computer. Next up we have ADW Cleaner. This tool is used to remove unwanted software and spyware from your system. Um, this is particularly useful because uh, it scans and finds things that normally antivirus won't pick up. Um, this tool is completely safe to use and it will remove any threats that are in your system. Um, beware, there are many viruses that dress up as this tool to install the trojans and viruses. As you can see, it's found on thread, my system was scanning. So what you want to do is download this from the link I will provide. This is the direct link from the developer. Run it on your system, just click and scan. It will run the a full scan on your system. Uh, it will all automatically download uh, the definitions. And as you can see, it will scan like through the folders if it finds something here. It will scan the browsers in your system. Um, it will scan the registry and uh, any other part of your system. After you run this and if it finds something like it did in mine, just click on clean and it will ask you to restart. And after it restarts, it will show you a lock file. As you can see, I've run this tool before. And uh, I really recommend this to clean up your computer or a friend's computer or, or any computer that you're doing maintenance because uh, it really removes things that are not found by regular antiviruses. Another handy tool is called CCleaner. You can get a free version on the link I will provide and download this application. This one is pretty useful to clean up your system after you have used it from some time. As you can see, it can clean internet uh, browsers, like here, you can search through Edge, Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, like any browser you have installed in your system. Cleans temporary files, cookies, download history session. It also cleans up uh, the Windows Explorer, which gets clogged up after some time. You can clean up recent documents, um, thumbnails. Uh, it also cleans system. Just do the regular tasks. You can click this if you want. 
Um, it also cleans the Windows Store applications, uh, multimedia things. It basically leaves, uh, removes any trace of junk on a video system. Just click Analyze. Um, it will ask you to close your web browsers. So it scans your browsers too. And yeah, you get a detailed list of what it's going to clean. As you can see, it's going to remove one gigabyte from my system. Just click on Run Cleaner. OK. And yep, you're going to get free space in a safe and easy way. Yeah, I got one gigabyte back from removing temporary files and things from my system. Another thing that this tool does is scan for registry issues. Um, most of the time, it will show you like, oh yeah, there are issues like this and application path issue. It's just, uh, it's, these are not uh, severe issues. So like things you want to clear and fix, nothing to worry about. But yeah, on some computers I've run this, <laughs> it has found like 300 problems on the registry. And after running this tool, pretty much fixed. You can also use this tool to uninstall software directly from here instead of going to the control panel and uh, searching for all the options and stuff. The thing is you can uninstall the software, rename the installation or delete. Don't use this one. Uh, if you click on delete, it will just delete it from this list and it won't show in the uninstall section, even from the Windows one. So you will be left with some files laying out in your system. So you, if you want to uninstall something, just click on this and click on uninstall. You will remove it. Yep, there's no trace. You can also use this to check what's running on startup. I know you can go and click on task manager and go to startup and see what's enabled and disabled. This. Um, with this tool, you can also delete them, delete this entry. So not only enable and disable them, but just delete them at all. You can also check schedule tasks that run on your computer, on startup or any program time. You can see that there's my throttle subtask. You can disable it, delete it. And there's the context menu. What is the context menu? This. When you right click, all these options are the context menu. So you can see there's a uh, Git Bash, Git GUI, uh, PowerShell. Um, you can just customize this menu by using this tool. You can select whatever you want to show here and it'll enable or disable. As for browser plugins, you can check what's running on your browsers. Um, block extensions, enable, disable, delete. This is just like a, an easier way to manage your extensions and browsers. The disk analyzer feature is to analyze uh, for duplicates. Uh, I mean this one, but this one can also help you find what's running, uh, what's taking up space in your system drive. And uh, after you analyze them, it gives you a resume and you can choose what to delete. This is a duplicate file finder on this one. This is the system restore. If you have a system restore enabled, it will show you the restore points and you can just uh, choose which ones to remove to save space. And you have a drive wiper, which I only recommend running on a USB drive. You, don't, you, don't, you do not want to run this in your hard drives. It will just wipe everything. So if you want to securely raise a, a USB drive, just plug this uh, USB you want to um, wipe in your system and run this one. Um, as for the recommended settings, I always untick run CCleaner when the computer starts. I don't, I do not want it to be running in the tray. Um, you can also add, enable or disable system monitoring, like this tool, which just sit, will sit on the tray and keep monitoring what, how much space you can free up. I don't like this. Um, so yeah, this is a definitely good tool that you need to have on your system to maintain it. One last tool I want to show you is called Auto Runs. 
This comes directly from sysinternals.com. And this one is a, a tool to check what's automatically running on your system. Like this is a super powerful version of this uh, startup tool. You can actually see all the services and registry entries and everything that runs on your computer. You can check this by tabbing, like look at this, like on logon. You can see what tasks run on logon. You can enable on the, or disable any task you want. I don't want this for example. I'll just uncheck it. Cool. You can see what runs when the explorer is run, when you open the browser. You can see the schedule tasks in a really detailed way. Here's my throttle stop task. You can see the services that run on your computer. You can enable and save them. You can see the drivers that get loaded when Windows starts. You can see the codecs. Um, now this is a, a pretty god mode tool to customize what you want to enable or disable on your system. This one, uh, you should run it carefully and, and only if you know what you're doing because if you disable like a driver or something, it, it might cause problems on your system. So this is an advanced tool. After you, know, uh, after you have some uh, knowledge of how Windows works, well, you can use this and make your life easier. All right, that was pretty much it. I hope you liked this video. If it was helpful to you, leave a like, comment, or subscribe. Any suggestions will be taken into account. I will answer all your questions.